Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at what is the current energy between you and your person, um, the connection or the relationship that you have with them. Eight of Pentacles just um, flew out of the deck. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like, can be an energy of detachment, like when two people are detached from each other. One person might be um, very busy in some way. Um, they might be very focused on their work or just focused on, on their own personal um, situations in life. Someone focused on their security, on their money matters, on their career matters. Um, it's almost like an energy of aloofness um, when it comes to love and detachment. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. What's the energy of the connection spirit? We have the chariot card. Okay, chariot could be dealing with a cancer. We also have the moon in reverse. We have the hermit card. Okay, there's that, there's that energy of um, detachment that I was talking about being kind of confirmed with the hermit card. The hermit is all about isolation and retreating, retreating yourself, um, separating yourself from another person or another situation. Ten of Wands, this is an ending. And the King of Cups in reverse, okay. Okay, so this energy of retreat um, is, is very strong here. Someone retreated from the relationship or the connection and decided to um, focus on themselves with the chariot card, keep themselves busy with their work with their money or um, career or just their their personal um, yeah their personal things their personal sit their personal situations hmm. king of cups is in reverse so there's a emotional emotional unavailability here all right well there's a there's like an emptiness here um virgo is what i'm feeling here like a, it feels like a big void a big um yeah big emptiness a big separation or division 
So that's the energy of the relationship or connection. Um, let me just take a look now at the individual energies here. So I feel like somebody here doesn't really care much, though. I don't know why I'm sensing that. I feel like somebody here doesn't have or feel much care. How does this person currently feel about Virgo, whoever it is that Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what's going on here. First card we have here is the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Hangman, the Judgment card in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Justice card and the Knight of Wands. This is their feelings for you, their current feelings. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Um, we also have air sign. We actually have every sign here, water sign and fire sign. And I actually do feel like this person has a lot of different um, personalities different attitudes also i want to say kind of like a gemini some of you are dealing with a gemini this is their current feelings this is a weird energy um virgo i feel like this is someone who it changes you know um, their feelings for you change um, from time to time or, you know, day to day. I don't feel like their feelings are always the same. I feel like sometimes they care about you and sometimes they're, they have strong feelings for you. And other times it feels like they're ready to leave you here with the Knight of Wands without any real care. without any real concern or, you know, heavy heart, you can say. There's something like manipulative about them with the Seven of Swords. Sensing a little manipulation. Let's clarify that. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. We have King of Wands in reverse. And we have the Death card. King of Wands in reverse and the Death card. This is like someone who, who tries to escape from you like behind your back or like someone who, someone who's doing things behind your back. I don't know what that means. Like, quietly or secretly doing things behind your back or trying to get away with something, trying not to be noticed. It feels a little manipulative and it feels a little like, like someone who has lying tendencies, someone who can be deceptive. What's the Knight of Wands doing here, Spirit? We have the Empress in reverse. Oh, God. It's horrible. 
definitely deceptive here. What else? And the three of wands. Oh, this is someone who has more than one option. Um, Virgo, definitely you're not their only choice. They don't see you as their only choice. I feel like this is someone who is with you when it's convenient for them to be with you. Or when, like, when they're in the mood to be with you. Because I feel like they're kind of moody. Um, we do have three of wands. So I do feel like this person is looking, looking at other options or, like, looking at other paths that they can take. Um, they're not committed to, to going on, on one single path with you. They're not committed to that. This seems like a little bit of a free spirit, a free bird. What's the Queen of Cups doing here? That's the weird card. Why is the Queen of Cups here then? We have Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, well, this, yeah, Page of Cups is just someone codependent. Secretly, they're kind of codependent and needy. Um, They might have like obsessive tendencies also. They kind of transition from one obsession to the next obs obsession. Um, there's no real um, consistency with this person, I feel. What's the justice card doing here? Seven of wands. Okay, so justice is what Whatever they say is justice, basically. Seven of Wands and Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so they, they kind of come up with their own idea of what justice um, means to them. Um, but I feel like it's, it's an arrogant definition of justice, you know? Basically. <laughs> All right. Let's move on from this person. This person feels very immature, um, Virgo. I'm not seeing anything really uh, substantial in this person's energy. All right. All right, tell me how does Virgo currently feel about this person, whoever they're dealing with and connecting to in love spirit. Thank you. Okay, looking at your feelings, <clears throat> Virgo, we have the Two of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups, oh, okay. the Five of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so you're kind of... You're in a very in a really different energy than this person. Um, you look like you're more of a like a deer. Um, what is that phrase? A deer caught in the headlights. I think is the phrase. A, a deer caught in the headlights. At the bottom, Queen of Cups in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Fool. Hmm. You know, just kind of like a, an oblivious type of energy is what I'm feeling from you, Virgo. 
obviously this person, whoever you're dealing with, is a lot more sharp, sharp-minded than, than you are. And I don't say it in a bad way. I feel like you're just um, a little bit more trusting and you you try to see the best or believe in the best. Um, I feel like you didn't pay attention to the red flags. That's what I'm getting. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on here. I feel like you don't you didn't um you didn't pay attention to the red flags. You have feelings for this person, but honestly, I feel like you have feelings you have feelings for this person more than they have for you, to be honest. Um, I don't feel like it's reciprocated, you know. Tell me about the four of cups, spirit. At least it's not reciprocated um, in the in the in the purity of of your feelings, you know. Yeah, it feels like you're a little bit more pure. We have nine of cups in reverse. Okay, yeah, you feel um, emotionally unfulfilled. You feel unhappy. You feel um, neglected or ignored or cast aside. What else? Tell me about the Four of Cups. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. You're definitely feeling um, unloved or uncared for, um, lonely, isolated, and you want this. You want this Ten of Cups, so you want this happily ever after. You want to find that perfect person with the two of cups, um, that perfect partner for you. Um, but there seems to be a lot of conflict here with the five of wands, especially in regards to who you're dealing with. I feel like their values are not the same as your values. Um, their intentions are not the same as your intentions. Like I said, I feel like that person... Um, has mixed priorities. And I don't see them in an energy of consistency or reliability in regards to commitment. I feel like they're they're not really focused on commitment, you know. Yeah, I feel like this is your energy here, the fool. Tell me about the fool spirit. We have six of pentacles. I think you want a new beginning with this person or you wanted a new beginning with them. King of cups in reverse. Um, you want things to be fair, to be equal, to be um, balanced. But I just don't feel like this person, like I said before, um, I don't feel like this person has the same um, perspective uh, as you do in regards to equality and fairness. I feel like a relationship for you is 50-50, but I feel like for them, a relationship is more like, I don't know, 60-40, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> or 70-30. <laughs> I just feel like they're more of a taker than a giver. I feel like um, they demand more, you know, and they they re they request more than they actually give. So you two are definitely um, out of alignment with each other. I feel. What's the ten of cups? We have five of swords and the lovers. 
yeah, Five of Swords and the Lovers. There's definitely um, sort of a low, like a low vibrational energy here in in this connection. And it comes from, yeah, someone being very like narcissistic actually is what I'm feeling. Narcissistic or egotistic here. I definitely feel like that was your person. They were coming up in that way as someone who's a little bit controlling or, um, like I said, demanding. I feel like your energy is kind of pure, Virgo. It feels there's a purity I, that I'm sensing. Uh, well, Virgo is the, the virgin, right? There's There's that. Almost like innocence. It feels like innocence in your energy. So I definitely feel like you might have been blindsided by whoever you're dealing with, okay? Um, and I get I get the sense that you you might have been ignoring the red flags. All right, Virgo. So I hope this um gave you some clarity. I hope it helped you. And thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.